So if you want to use the Realme 5 and 5i and other Realme mobile phones camera like a professional then this video is for you. Because I am going to show you every feature or option of the Realme mobile phones camera and how you can use them for the best results. And at last I will show you that if your camera settings have been corrupted then how you can reset the camera settings for the better results. So before starting the video I request you to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So right now guys in the top you can see in the middle one option. So if I click on it you can see that uh, chroma boost is on. So actually chroma boost is an option uh, mostly in the Realme mobile phones. So chroma boost is a feature that uh, whenever you click the shutter this will gather light from the outdoor in 3 to 4 seconds and put this light on your photo. So if you go on HDR so I will recommend you that you should keep always HDR on because HDR is like whenever you take a picture it will uh, in the background select the picture it will uh, uh, put some effects on it and it will make it the best picture for you. So this is also very good and here you can see on the more from the bottom you can see ultra macro options so if I click on it it has been selected. So what it is actually so whenever you click on a picture like you take a picture of uh, small objects, uh, small insects, flowers, it will make them clear and in detail for you at very close distances. So it is also a very helpful feature. So here on the bottom you can see the night, it is for night mode whenever you are at night you can take it. And uh, right now you can see the video, so here on the top you can see some uh, options. So if I click on the middle one you can see it is actually the uh, effects that you can put for your video you can select the best one which you like so these are some effects other than that you can see the light the torch so if we go back you can uh, you can go to the photo you can see here some effects you can see the effect same like the video so if we go back here you can see the portrait it is actually many people know that if you want to take a picture of human being or some uh, animals uh, big animals you can take it it will make the background blur something like that. So here they, they have also given some effects if you want to apply them. Here you can go to more option and if you go to more option here you can see the pano option the last one so if I go on pano and uh, if I click on it, it is now on. So, right like that, it will take uh, a big picture of your room. But the pano is not working very well on my Realme 5. So, if I go on more, here you can see the expert option of Pro. So, if we click on it, so I will recommend you that if you are professional, you can use this. Like you can see the effects here. So, it's up to you. So, after that, if we go back. If you unselect uh, Pro, here you can see the slow mo option. So, this is actually for the TikTok users, like uh, if you like to make TikTok videos, so you can use it, it's up to you. So, other than that, you can also use it for fun. Then we go to time lapse, so it is like a fast mode, something like that. So, if you use it, it's up to you how you want to use it. After that, I will show you some other options of your camera. So, if you go to the settings here, if you click on the top right, and here you can see the frame size. So, here you can go to 4 by 3, 1 by 1, and here you can see the full screen. And here you can see the settings option. So, I will click on settings option without any waste of time. And uh, after that, you can see the fingerprint shooting. So if you click on the fingerprint, it will take the picture. Here you can see the volume button. So if you click on the volume button, it will take a picture. Then you can see the shutter sound is on. Location, if you want uh, the watermark of the location on your picture, then you can make it on. Then you can see the uh, touch to take photo. So if you, for example, touch on your mobile phone anywhere it will take the picture then you can see the AI screen recognition 
I will uh, recommend you that if you want uh, your background blur, you can uh, make the AI screen uh, recognition on. Then you can see the watermark. The watermark option is actually if you want the time and date on your photo. And uh, at last, I will show you that if your camera settings have been corrupted, there is something wrong. The uh, camera is not doing focus or something like that. So what I will show you that uh, you can just click on restore to default on the last you can see. So maybe it will resolve your problem. So I will I have clicked on restore to defaults. And now I will click on restore to defaults again. And now my camera is new like before. All the settings have been reset. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, then please hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.